The Wild West is a historical period that throughout the 20th century became a myth of Western popular culture. It was portrayed in books, movies, and stories that mixed violence with heroism, giving rise to narratives that today are part of the entertainment industry. In this list, we will look at 25 series and curious facts about the Old West that you probably didn't know. Human Skin Boots George Parrott, better known as Big Nose George, was an outlaw of the Old West. After being hanged in 1871, his corpse was used by Dr. John Osborne to craft boots made from human skin. Osborne, who later became governor of Wyoming, even manipulated George Parrott's skull and used it as a doorstop in his office. Death of John Wesley Hardin John Wesley Hardin was a notorious gunslinger who claimed to have killed 40 people. In 1895 he was shot in the back while playing cards in a saloon in El Paso. Although feared, his death was quick and treacherous. The wildest town in the Old West. Fort Griffin, Texas was known as one of the most dangerous places in the West. Founded at the crossroads of two major routes, it attracted gunslingers, bounty hunters, fugitives, and prostitutes. John Wesley Hardin and Doc Holliday were some of its most famous visitors. The Outlaw Poet. Charles Black Bart Bowles, a famous stagecoach robber, was also a poet. After robbing Wells Fargo stagecoaches, he would leave sarcastic poems at the crime scene. He was captured in 1883 and spent several years in prison. Whiskey of the Old West Alcohol in the Wild West was known for being extremely strong and dangerous. The whiskey sold was often a mix of alcohol, tobacco, and even gunpowder known as fire water. The Wandering Corpse of Elmer McCurdy Elmer McCurdy was an outlaw whose embalmed body was displayed for years. After his death in 1911, his corpse was used as a carnival attraction until it was discovered decades later and finally buried in 1977. The Legend of Jesse James Jesse James was one of the most famous outlaws of the Old West. He led a gang that robbed banks and trains with a bounty of $100,000 on his head. He was killed in 1882 by Robert Ford, one of his own companions. The Preacher Killer, James Killer Jim Miller, a notorious assassin, often wore a bulletproof vest and posed as a devout preacher. He was responsible for over 50 murders and was executed by a mob in 1909. Deadly Potions during the Old West, miracle elixirs were sold, promising to cure all sorts of ailments. Many of these brews contained toxic ingredients such as lead or mercury, causing more harm than good. Charles Kennedy, a burly bearded man, was known for killing several travelers who passed through his property in New Mexico. After years of murders, his son turned him in, and he was eventually executed by local justice. Numerous people tried to steal Ronnie's belongings from his cabin. In the Bender family, the head, John Bender, married Elvira. That week, John Jr. was also in Kansas. The Bender family became notorious in 1870 for committing numerous murders on their property. John Jr. was said to be particularly violent. People began to suspect something was wrong when travelers started disappearing in the area. Eventually, bodies were found on the Bender's property. They were captured and killed after being accused of multiple homicides, although some versions say they managed to escape. Among the legends of the Old West is the story of gunslinger James Butler Wild Bill Hickok, who was killed while playing poker in 1876. His killer, Jack McCall, shot him in the back in a Deadwood, South Dakota saloon. Although arrested and tried, McCall was acquitted in his first trial but was eventually convicted and executed in a second trial. The West is also full of stories of female gunslingers, like the famous Annie Oakley, who became known for her skill with a rifle. She was one of the first women to participate in shooting exhibitions, such as Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, and proved to be one of the most skilled marksmen in history. Oakley dedicated her life to promoting responsible gun use and shooting sports, defying the social expectations of her time. 
The Pony Express, which operated for less than two years between 1860 and 1861, is another legend of the West. Although the company quickly went bankrupt, its riders traversed over 3,150 kilometers on horseback connecting the eastern and western United States. The Buffalo Bill Wild West Show toured North America and Europe presenting iconic figures like Sitting Bull, who led his people in several battles against U.S. forces before being confined to a reservation. Despite his resistance, he eventually joined the show demonstrating the customs of Native Americans to an audience that still saw him as a threat. Women also played an important role in the Old West, from saloon owners to sex workers. Although many faced dangerous conditions, some managed to amass fortunes, challenging the gender norms of their time. Apache leader Geronimo, famous for his resistance against Mexican and U.S. forces, was eventually captured and confined to a reservation. After his capture, Geronimo converted to Christianity and participated in public exhibitions that showcased his skill and culture to an audience that still viewed him as a threat. These stories, though sometimes exaggerated or romanticized, remain a fundamental part of the imagination of the Old West, a place where the frontier, law, and order were fluid concepts. Another myth-busting fact is that the Wild West wasn't just a man's world. Yes, there were plenty of rugged cowboys and outlaws, but women played a huge role in shaping the frontier too. From running saloons and hotels to working as teachers and doctors, women were integral to the development of the West. And let's not forget the Native American tribes who were often at the forefront of the region's history, interacting with settlers and shaping the course of events. Women like Annie Oakley, a famous sharpshooter, and Mary Fields, a former slave who became one of the first African-American women to deliver mail in the West, are just a couple of examples of the many pioneering females who helped shape the Wild West. Life in the Wild West was a complex web of interactions between different groups, Native Americans, settlers, outlaws, and lawmen. And at the heart of it all were the towns, which were often thriving communities that brought people together. Take for instance the town of Deadwood, which was founded by a group of prospectors in the 1870s. Despite its rough start, Deadwood became a boom town, attracting thousands of people seeking their fortune in the gold fields. The town had its own newspaper, school, and even a church showing that even in the wildest of times, community came first. One of the most astonishing in my opinion is the story of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, two of the most notorious outlaws of the time. While they're often portrayed as ruthless bandits, the truth is that they were both charismatic leaders who were loved by many in the towns they visited. In fact, when they robbed a bank in one town, they even left a note apologizing for the inconvenience and promising to pay back the money, which they eventually did. Another astonishing secret is the role of Chinese immigrants in the Wild West. While many of us picture the West as a place of rugged individualism, the truth is that Chinese workers played a crucial role in building the Transcontinental Railroad, which connected the East and West coasts of America for the first time. Without their labor, the West might have looked very different indeed. As we've seen, the Wild West was a far more complex and multifaceted place than popular culture would have us believe. By uncovering these hidden secrets, we can challenge our assumptions about this pivotal period in American history and gain a deeper understanding of the people and events that shaped the nation. That's all for now. If you want to support the channel, consider getting a membership. You can see the available options by clicking the join button below this video. Your support is optional but greatly appreciated. Until next time, I wish you an excellent day.